everybody, my name is Farmer Phil, and as you can see, this is my sister's documentary on me. So this is just my bit of an intro before her intro, so let's get to it. My name is Philip Stewart, I am 21 years old, I am a young farmer in South County Longford. I, we do dairy calf to beef here, we also grow tillage and all the tillage we grow ends up on these guys here behind me as you can see, they're eating meal and that, and we also do contracting as well. I got my green store which allowed me to start a herd number, it literally meant I was a young farmer, a qualified young farmer, and I could start farming. So, as a young farmer, how do I find time to be sociable? Well, the honest question, answer is, I'm not very sociable. I, this farming takes up all my time. There's three of us at home, me, my father, and my uncle. We hire a young person that helps us out. And he's working for us on the weekends at the moment as he's got an apprenticeship in a dealership. But there's, just, there's not a lot of time because if I'm not high cattle, I'm at the contracting or I'm doing tractors, I'm just, I'm always busy. I'm never not busy. So to say I have a social life, any sort of social life I have, it just ties into farming, whether it be a farming group, or it's meeting people when I'm out working, contracting for people, or when I'm buying cows or stuff like that. I don't do anything outside of farming. I, I play a bit of table tennis, I don't really get to play as much as I'd like to play. But outside of farming, that, that's really all I do. So anyone I meet, generally speaking, has something to do with farming. I'm all meeting new farmers. I'm part of the IFA Young Leadership Programme and I'm also part of the Young Beef Farmer Sustainability Programme and through them I'm meeting new people and meeting other farmers and sharing ideas and, and shit like that. Technology on the farm is, is great. It's, it's huge importance whether it be just like I can take out my phone and open up the likes of Herdwatch or any of them apps and I can record all my medicines there and then. There's no paper trail I can't if I lose the book, that I keep the medicine records in when the book is lost, there's no backup. Whereas on the phone, it's there, it's there, it's saved straight to the cloud. And, that, and like even with her automatic catheter, which is just over in that direction over there, I'm looking at it. It's serious, serious job technology. It feeds the cows, it does everything we need to do with the cows, it's completely programmable. I am a YouTuber and I started it just, just for the crack. Like I, I wanted to share with people around the place what I do and what farming is and what it's about because there's just so many misconceptions and misinformation going around there and it also brings in a few pounds which is a big boost when, when you're at this job because it's not the most profitable sector out there to be at. We're a minority. Only was it like 2% or something of the world's population is a farmer or in Ireland or that. Like that's, that's not... It's a, Everyone can just, uh, we'll just blame the farmers because they're an easy target. There's only 2% of them. Even though we're the most essential part in the food chain, we're the most essential people in the world because if you don't have food, what the fuck are you going to do? Like, You need food to eat and survive and thrive. And without a farmer, billions of people would starve. They wouldn't have a fucking notion on how to grow or do anything. I am part of two groups at the moment. I'm part of the IFA Young Leaders program or initiative, I, I, I don't know what it ends with, but that is the IFA are trying to recruit young farmers and young leaders in the agricultural industry to try and get them involved with the IFA organisation, try and get just more young people involved to carry the IFA forward into the future, as it's, it is what all farmers in Ireland rely on when we want to try and convey our message with Europe or with the government, they represent us, they they're our represent. They're our lobby group, and it's up to us to try and make sure that it's there and it does what it's supposed to. And also, I am part of the Young Beef Farm Sustainability Program, as you can see here, YBFSP. It's run in partnership with Don Meats on this side and Mocker and the Farmer Skillnet on the other. And it is. It's all to do with. B 
beef farming and how to be sustainable. And when I'm talking about sustainable, I'm talking about sustainable from a profitability point of view, not so much sustainable as in environmental sustainability. There is a bit on that, but it's primarily about how to make your farm profitable and how to make it that you can actually have a life. At the moment, the vast majority of farmers, beef farmers, and a lot of farmers out there, they rely on the single farm payment and all the subsidies that Europe and the government give to farmers to produce the cheap food for the populace. Thank you, sister, for having me in your interview. It was like I had a choice. My mother was going to bait me black and blue if I didn't do this interview for So, However, that is it. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been some sort of educational or something for you. I hope you have something to take away out of it. me please hit me down in the comments below you can also subscribe to my youtube channel this will be going up on youtube i don't know if my sister put this in the documentary or not whatever the fuck she wants to do but you can sub 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 subscribe i can't even say the fucking subscribe. words you trust that right you can sub subscribe to me down below please hit that like button it means a lot please follow stay stick around watch some of my older videos about the farm everything i do on this youtube channel is about the farm i know some of my early stuff was farming see me later but i'm gone away from that now it's all farming so thanks for watching that's it for me good luck <laughs>